<clears throat> What's up guys? Just got done mowing. I think I'm gonna do a little review on my bad boy. Just kind of let you know some of the things I like, some of the things I looked at whenever I was buying. Thank you. And uh, give you my two cents. Oh. So here's the, <clears throat> I've got the 54 inch Maverick HD. And I got the Honda IGX V700 engine. It's fuel injected, so you don't have to uh, choke. <clears throat> so if you'll listen, you can hear the fuel pump prime. So that's a nice feature. This thing has double uh, of your free hydraulic. So you got double reservoirs and you've also got filters on your hydraulic uh, serviceable engines. These are 3400 Transact uh, commercial hydro gears. So you just take this little cover off and there's a filter under it. There's one on each one. And so right here, if you wanna, if you wanna put a hitch, you can see the blue paint. Uh, that's where you hit your bolts and I'm currently I'm currently building one of those Another good thing about this it has the air ride suspension or the I say air ride. It's got these big rubber shocks That make it really comfortable for ride I say is there anything else under here? So this one came with this uh, striping kit So it's just a piece of uh, kind of a piece of rubber you can see uh, I think I think the deck is all the way on the ground right now, and so it's it's rubbing. Uh, I think it's on 1.5 is what the setting is on, but you see it's got slots, you can adjust it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else under here that needs to be pointed out. Uh, oil filter's easy to get to. <coughs> Excuse me. Oil filter's easy to get to. One, one thing I, I, that I liked about the bad boy is everything is accessible. So you see that your deck plate just lifts up. You can get to all your pulleys and belts. There is uh, grease alamites on on majority of the things under here. I don't know, the spindles are not greasable. They have replacement bearings, sealed bearings, but they are beefy. I don't, just for residential use, I'm probably never gonna have an issue with it. You can see just kind of how large they are. The blades that came on it are just super thick compared to the cheaper blades I'm used to. I need to clean it a little bit. Just I usually pressure wash it off, but I haven't had a chance to yet. Another thing I did, it was recommended by another person, was take some ceramic coating and spray on before you before you mow or anything the very first time. And it, uh, it really does help. You can just water hose all this old dry grass and uh, after the motor and thing cools off, it, it'll just come right off. And so there's a lever here. Lift it up. Got your parking brake, uh, battery. I had a, I've got another short that showed how this, the, this linkage was a little bit loose. So I tightened those up. Uh, I think that's about it under here. Get your oil. It's got the you got the big commercial air air filter. It's nice. This thing does have two uh, gas tanks. I think I can't remember. I think one might hold close to close to five gallons. I put a whole five gallon jug in that one and didn't fill it up. And I've, I've never put any gas in this side, so you could really you could really mow some grass. So this has the, the HD came with the, the, the nicer seat. It's the leather embroidered seat. It does have the handles. If the handles, you can, it's got a little nut here you can adjust and it'll, it'll, it'll set the height angle. This one has, you also here, you would set your weight. I've got it on 190 just cause it's a little bit softer that way. So you set your weight and then the, it just floats when you mow it so comfortable. Uh, this was another thing I had kind of concerned with 
was these handles. They've uh, I've probably had it for probably two months now, and I've mowed a handful of times, and these have yet to come loose. And they look cheap online from what I could see, but these are actually really sturdy. They're cast. They're like cast iron or some type of cast metal, uh, and they got the teeth there that that lock in place and. That one's loose now that I've fooled with it, but you don't have any issue out of these. It, I mean, the handles feel sturdy as a rock. Uh, nothing's cheap about this system. And then if in an event that you didn't like this, you want to get rid of it, all you had to do is just unbolt it here, and then have somebody make you a, a little adapter piece. And you know, you could get rid of that if you wanted to. It's all stamped metal, uh, so you got the foot foot prop. You can take this and turn it around. So if you, right now I've got it set on 1.5, if you push the kick plate out, you just turn this to your setting you want. Turn it loose, and that sets your deck height. So if this foot is too far for you, you can take these bolts out and flip this around so the pedal will be out here. So you got your PTO throttle your hour gauge i think this is uh an extra spot for a motorized deck lift if you wanted to do that uh you got your emergency brake here so that's pretty nice gas gauge is not true uh i'm probably about to run out and it's saying i got a half a tank so <clears throat> it's not that that's not really accurate it's got the rubberized stamp deck tow prop <clears throat> the deck is stout enough you can stand on it <clears throat> it's got these uh it's just got linkage so it doesn't float it does i guess i say it doesn't float it does float it's just got a slot on that plate so it'll float somewhat some some of the other ones you see have chains <clears throat> uh the bearings i, I read they're all auto, automotive uh top bearings or top uh pulleys so they're stout pulleys. This belt is a uh, probably a five eighths. Another suggestion: there's a couple holes in the deck, and take some. You can see how these are bubbled up. If you take some tape and cover those holes up, you you won't have near as much grass on top of your deck. A lot, a lot of dirt and dust and stuff blow through those holes, and so you can see how they how they how they bubbled up. <clears throat> and I probably could get some 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 rubber plugs and put in there. Casters are all real well made and uh, reinforced. The front tires are no flats, so you don't have to worry about running over briars and thorns. Uh, going back to the rubber pads, it has the rubber pads here in the front. Uh, it's got a really stout uh, front front cross member. You, uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a W section type. Uh, and this is a uh, bucket holder that I made. I think I've got a video on my page about this. And so I just took this bumper off and used it and traced out a piece of plate and then welded this bracket, made made a little Z just to kind of go inside the bucket. And just out of some scrap metal I had and I used uh, I used a, a new screw right here in the center to attach it and I just put it back put it back through these same holes. I wanted something kind of that I could take off and be sleek but not in the way. So it doesn't stick up as high as the as the bad boy bucket. Be careful with this thing. Uh, I snagged this on a guide wire coming off that power pole one day because I wasn't used to it. And it does stick up a little bit over your shoulders and outside your shoulders. So I usually leave mine down. But I did snag about the guide wire one day. It's got the Reaper tires. It's the only negative is this, these Reaper tires. If, uh, let me take you over here and show you in the yard. If you have any spot where you wanna go, if you're gonna mow and then kinda go downhill, you can see here, this, this back, the back of this yard kinda slopes downhill. And so you have to, you have to stop this, the, the left one you stop to turn, and you also kinda go downhill, and it just drags that back tire. Uh, that's the only negative. You can see it kind of, so if you've got uh, a real nice yard, you might want to opt out of 
uh, and maybe there's a setting I haven't found yet. But that's the only negative is it'll, it'll and if you, you can't really mow, you see that little spot there. If you mow wide open, if you're mowing wide open and you and just kind of do a zero and sling it around and go back, those tires will, you'll tear up some grass. So you have to kind of be real ginger with it. But at the same time, it does do hills really well. I've got some hills that I mow along the side and uh, it handles those hills really well because of the, because of the, the the more aggressive tires so I'm I like the tires I mean other than the tearing up the yard I wouldn't mind to have something just a little less aggressive tread but you are gonna lose some of that traction when you do that uh, I really like this Honda motor I haven't had any issues out of it I've only had it for, except for a month or two but uh, it cranks and runs fine you can actually you can actually start the PTO with a low idle one of the few mowers you can do that with. Uh, I think that's about it. I need to make something to hold that up. That wants to flop down occasionally. You do got the adjustment. You can slide your seat in and out. It's got the seat belt. So, thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions, if you're looking at maybe buying one, I studied this one for a good while, so. Uh, leave some comments and questions. Let me know what you think if you've got one or uh, if you got any questions you need me to answer I might be able to answer for you. Thank you for watching